Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and well, today we're gonna make these little notebooks. Let's do this real quick. Now, I enjoy using notebooks like crazy. Usually I have a pocket shirt that they fit into, but sometimes buying these field notebooks, they're a little bit expensive, so why not make your own? Now, I'm just using poster board from my local dollar store. You can use whatever you want and cut it to whatever dimensions you want. If you wanna follow along and use the dimensions I use, be my guest. But you just wanna start out by, well, cutting it down to the dimensions that you need. Now, if you have a paper cutter, well, you're more than welcome to use it. And I like to save these little tiny strips because I'll use them for the binding, well, whatever you want to call it, on the edge of the book here. And it makes it look pretty nice, actually. You can use however many sheets you want. I find using about 16 sheets uh, does the trick, and it's just enough that my paper cutter here can, well, zip through it. Whatever makes it easiest on yourself. And the faster I can get this paper cut down to size, well, the easier the whole project's gonna be. Now, I have experimented with a couple different ways on how to, well, really get the holes inside the, the middle of the binding and everything, how to do the binding itself. And I've, so far, I've found the easiest way is really just to keep everything nice and flat, don't fold anything yet. Place your paper right on there, exactly where you want it, and put one of these little binder clips right on it just to kind of keep everything held together for you. And then go ahead and mark the center, and then you can kind of, well, figure out where you want to put the holes for the binding. Now, I definitely recommend using some sort of awl. Uh, use it on a surface that's not gonna get damaged, maybe even put a magazine underneath it. But this is definitely the easiest way to punch a hole through all 16 sheets of paper plus the poster board. Don't use a thumbtack or anything like that. It's not quite sharp enough. I mean, you can in a pinch, but I need to make a bunch of these. So using the correct tool might be more beneficial. Go ahead and thread your needle using, well, a needle threader because it's easier and makes more sense to do so. And it's up to you how you really want to stitch this together. I do not really know how to sew or stitch or anything like that. I'm just going with whatever makes the most sense to me. Now, I chose this way of stitching because originally I was just gonna allow the stitching to show. I wasn't gonna finish it up in any way, shape, or form. I'm just kind of looping the thread back through itself and pulling nice and tight and then just tying a knot. And then kind of go back through the middle and repeat the whole process. I mean, my main goal with tying this knot is really to loop it through the two holes there and then just tie it back on itself so that each individual uh, set of holes there has its own knot tied onto it. So it's kind of like three separate binding points, I guess. And that should be pretty much it for binding the book together. Now, another thing you can do is add a little strip here just to kind of make a nice edge to your little book, your little notebook. And you can do, you kind of add this afterwards, but folding this little piece of paper is kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna try adding it beforehand and then folding it all together and seeing what happens. So bear with me one moment. While we're waiting for that side to glue, you can go ahead and take your pages and kind of fold your pages together. And it's a good idea to take it and fold it backwards. It's a little easier this way. Give it a little bend this way, just to kind of break it in, and then fold it back the other way. And then what I like to do, just because you folded the pages, they'll stick out a little bit past your cover. I just like to trim them up. And just like that, you're done making your little field notebook. And you can go ahead and Add any designs on the front that you want. You could even use different paper, different card stock, whatever you want to use or how you want to make this. It's pretty nice and it looks, well, relatively cool. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Now, like I said, I'm making a bunch of these. I'm making about 20 or so 
For my nieces and nephews, I thought they might like these. I like using notebooks like crazy, and well, you know what? My son does too, so I figured my nieces and nephews, if they got a little pack of these notebooks, it might be pretty fun for them. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna make a bunch of them. So, I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you found it helpful in making one of these little notebooks, be my guest and subscribe and definitely give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like. You can go ahead and check out the other video that uh, gives you a little bit different uh, showing of how to make these notebooks. Not so much an explanation, but it's a fun video to watch. And you know what? I'll see you on the next one or something like that. And I definitely recommend using some sort of an owl. Don't use a thumbtack. Is it owl or all? Well, I just made an oopsie.